Hey there everyone, I hope you're rocking today. Recently on Twitter, I've seen people complaining about various aspects of their PhD in geoscience. Grad students cite stress, poor working conditions, low job prospects, among other things, for reasons behind their complaints. Now, I read through many of them complaints, and I've had quite a few of those complaints myself, but there is something that none of the comments talk about, which I'm going to be talking about in this video. Before we get going, if you have any concerns or any questions or anything you want me to talk about, leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, professional geoscientist and occasional Twitter user. Recently, there have been threads of people airing their grievances about their PhDs in geoscience. Something similar happened a few months ago across the Twitters with the supposed imposter syndrome. I've got a video about it right here. Now, before I get too far in, I would have to say that Twitter and social media tend to amplify messages, grievances included. The response to some of these tweets are, of course, salient, but they end up blaming outward forces for their problems, such as lack of support by admins, lack of support from supervisors, lack of money, lack of job prospects. I understand I felt them all. I am going to give you a few quick truths about PhD programs before I get too deep. You see, completing a PhD is not meant for everyone. It isn't supposed to be easy unless you're really, really smart. And even then, your PhD better be a tough one. Next, no one's going to hold your hand through it. Guiding you, yes. Holding your hand, no. You got to be adulting, at the very least, when you're doing your PhD. People were complaining about pressure to publish. You need to publish. You have to publish papers. If you don't publish papers, you screw up your academic career. A PhD is going to cost you money, time, mental health, sanity. What do you get in return? Mental resilience, a deeper understanding of self and the universe, hopefully a sink-proof worth ethic, and a bulletproof mentality. Here's another reality nugget. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average person will change jobs 12 times in their lifetime. That's roughly a change every five years. That means the majority of you doing your PhDs in geoscience, you won't be doing what you're doing in five years, let alone 10 years. Further, According to a Canadian study, a vast majority of people are happier after major career changes. What does this mean? Chances are you are completing a PhD in something that isn't making you happy or fulfilling your life. I have compiled a list of reasons why you should not be doing a PhD in geoscience probably a PhD in anything, really. Number one, starting a PhD in geoscience because your parents told you to. There could be cultural reasons for it. There could be familial reasons for it. Your parents could just simply be thinking that it's the best thing for your career and life. Well, unless your parents are on the cutting edge of technology, they likely have no idea what the future holds for a PhD in geoscience. They may not know about cloud computing, machine learning, artificial intelligence, different programming languages. If you've started a PhD because your parents had suggested it, you've got a little bit of rethinking to do. Number two, you're doing a PhD because of vanity and status. If you have started a PhD for these two reasons alone, you won't find either in any satisfactory measure. Of course, if you're watching this video and those are your reasons, your ego is telling you that they're not the reasons that you're actually doing the PhD. 
And you think I'm stupid for even suggesting this, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Now, don't get me wrong, the doctor title works quite well. Uh, for instance, I use Dr. Chris because of, well, mainly marketing. Now, I don't mind people calling me that either, but in polite company, I do not introduce myself as Dr. Chris at all. I am just Chris. A little confession, I probably did sort of start the PhD with that little bit of ego problem. Luckily, the PhD beat it out of me. Number three, you're doing a PhD to avoid real life. This is such a common occurrence among so many PhDs that I have talked to, myself included. No matter how much you think that continuing on into your education is gonna keep you away from responsibility or keep you away from adulting, it will catch up with you. The avoidance will make you less effective as an academic, it'll make you less effective in industry, and it'll make you less effective for the people around you that care for you. Do not start a PhD to avoid life, start a PhD to contribute to the world. Those are my thoughts on completing a PhD in geoscience. I would also venture to say PhDs in general. By all means, if you really, 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 really think you should be completing a PhD, by all means, do so. I have no skin in your game. That sounds kind of awkward. You know what I mean. Do the PhD for the right reasons. Figure it out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.